Listen, as someone mentioned earlier about a taxpayer here in town, just want to put on the record that I have nothing to do with any trash collection, sanitation, or I wouldn't be running and burning buildings for the last 20 years. So that was kind of absurd, but hey, if you know, you say something enough times, people start to believe it, but that was pretty absurd. Uh, secondly, I'm not the head of Rank Copas Valley Democrats or the head of any organization that's represented on my uh, the sign in front of my building. Um, the reason I came here tonight was I was a little perturbed a little disappointed actually with last month's meeting the liquor license renewal for on the agenda. And I opened uh, <coughs> some emails and I got this one from the township clerk, Sherry, to uh, Councilwoman Astor, uh, because she decided to pull a certain uh, liquor license off the consent agenda. And the email says there was a liquor license transfer, and this is from uh, Sherry to the Councilwoman. Liquor license transfer that needed to be done. All the information was provided in the resolution that the state says needs to be provided by law. There was no, mis no misinformation or impropriety. And for you to allude that this is unprofessional and immature, is, is unprofessional and immature. I don't have my glasses, I'm sorry. It is not up to me to judge who the license is, is for. My job is to make sure the criteria has been met the transfer and a renewal to take place. Further, it is your job to vote on liquor license renewals in the same fashion. All the licenses on the resolution last night from this criteria for being renewed to pull one off specifically because you don't like who owns the license tells me that this isn't about the town as a whole for you and it's a shame. I expect an apology at the next meeting. I hope that apology is actually issued because she did a great job. Uh, I just like to say a lot of people talk about supporting businesses and downtown. So I would like to know why you would pull a liquor license renewal that was pre pretty much procedural, that has no violations. In fact, it's a pocket license, so it can't have any violations. Why do you pull that off the agenda? And why are you voting on one of the My 72-year-old mother spent her life savings on that license last year and plans to open up her life's dream of a, a wine bar downtown. And so why are you trying to send me that and, have, and pull it off of the agenda and vote no on that? I want to know answer my question. Why you well, pulled well, off the answer agenda? Your, as the, I want to read exactly my, my response. So to nothing you. to do with who owns it. Okay. I would love to give you my official response to Sherry, okay. and then from there I can then elaborate. If okay. that's okay with you. Sure. I choose. I choose to answer. I mean, I my main thing is if everything that's presented to us to vote on, I assume I'm not expected to vote yes on anything. I can vote no. I can Sherry, this is my official public apology because I said I would do it, so I'm kind of awkward. Um, you're stealing thunder. Um, I, so you already read the email, and I know that um, Sherry had understood my comments as me criticizing her work or accusing her of impropriety, and I really I felt awful that she felt that way. And I do apologize for taking so long. I've been doing this eight months travel. I was away for a week back home away and just other emails kept pushing me down. So my answer to Sherry was thank you for pointing this out. I will absolutely make an apology tonight. Here I am. And I'm going to speak loudly so you can hear me. Um, that was part of the problem. I'm so sorry that you thought that I was accusing you of impropriety. It was not my intention to make any criticisms of your work. The resolutions that you wrote both in September and June were absolutely fine. You made no mistake. I think it was a combination of me not speaking clearly and the difficulty of being able to hear in our meeting space. When I referred to the, I was referring to the public notice that I saw in the Burlington County Times in August. It had a different name and address attached to the LLC versus the one that was listed in June. 
I thought that, oh, the resolution text that you provided in the September resolution did not list an address, just the LLC. There's no wrongdoing on your part whatsoever. You did nothing wrong and I apologize. The address that I saw attached <coughs> the LLC was in the public notice in the Burlington County Times. Was, uh, and it, it's because it was, it was posted by the attorney. So okay. I believe it was the attorney's address. And, and I, I'm just so sorry that, that <coughs> you thought that I was accusing you of writing an incorrect resolution or just doing something wrong. It, no, nothing is wrong with your work whatsoever. And I just thought it was odd that the address, the name and address in the official public notice was different than the name and address that was on the resolution last month. But and I'm gonna finish my apology and then continue. So anyway, I said, again, I will make sure that I make an apology to you and the public. You do excellent work and I am very grateful for all that you do. I know we're a pain sometimes and we tend to harass you the day of our meetings. I'm sure you get bombarded with emails. I never want to have your professional reputation tarnished in any way. And so she said, never like apply for a job somewhere else, I would happily give you an excellent reputation. So it was just enough. But more importantly, what, what made me feel like I needed to separate it and abstain was the fact that our township solicitor was confirming <coughs> all the official formation of the LLC, and I just felt uncomfortable. So I felt, when it's out, abstain, remove it, abstain. Every other <coughs> liquor license here is an already existing establishment. And it's just a way of me protecting myself so I could feel comfortable with my vote. It wasn't personal, it was, I just, I felt better abstaining. And in the beginning, when I first started, I was a yes on some things, and in retrospect, I wish I had done my research, and at the very least, abstain, because I actually voted for things, and then found out that maybe I shouldn't. So it's, it's nothing personal, it was just, I felt most comfortable voting. The township attorney had nothing to do with the liquor license in the room. Chair, I mentioned that. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, so, I felt most comfortable with things. Yeah. Um, okay. I, I told you specifically that I had nothing to do with the liquor license. Okay. In the future, if anybody on council decides to pull liquor license and we'll vote separately, we're voting no, you have to elaborate on the record why you're voting no. We can put the clerk and go on to great lengths to, to make sure that everything is in order. Put, put Cherry in a tr tr tricky position with the ABC. Okay. Just, well, and I would say that information that, came to me at the meeting, and I just felt sometimes like my vote is my record, yep. and I'd rather be a pain and ask to change things last minute, especially like today with option one, two, and three. Like I, I, I feel that if I, if I have to do a little extra work to change things so that I can walk out of here and feel comfortable, because sometimes it's not even that I'm like for or against something. I'm just I feel better at saying that is all. It's not personal. And yeah, it really it had more to do with the town Coleman. Town Coleman has nothing. Town Coleman has nothing. Excuse me, Miss. Look, I'm not her. I Excuse me. <laughs> she asked to address me. Let her address me. Stop being rude. Actually, she she did address. Yeah. And I'm allowed to talk. Right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Wait a minute. I think it's pretty petty that you would pull it out simply because you're a son. 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 You're a So the public portion is now closed. Everyone had a chance to speak their mind. Excuse me. If I'm talking, if you're going to continue to talk, I'm going to ask you to leave. Thank you. You need to Thank you. He leaves too, and I wasn't talking. No, I wasn't talking. It's just me. Well, it's, I, I hear noise from the back. That's not me. If it's not you, it's fine. You can stay. I just want to make sure no, no one is talking. No, it's late, and I'm getting up to leave. Okay. Well, I'll let leave. you go. Yes, it is getting late. All right. I still hear conversations in the back. Excuse me. I still hear conversations in the back. Please be quiet. Thank you.
All right, now we have our resolution to be considered by council. We have resolution number 2024-79. It's a resolution authorizing the award of contract for solid waste collection services. Now, this is the trash contract. Um, if you bring it up to a motion, just bring up the motion with option. Option you decide. So I said, if you bring up the motion, is we, I think you said we gotta take the option, right? No, so, I, can we vote on the resolution as it is first? Why uh, do two? Yeah, why do two? Y'all tell me what makes the most sense. I mean, if you're, if you're prepared to um, award the contract to this particular vendor, pick an option, pick an option. and then, then, then the, uh, the resolution. Right. I, I made the motion to option two for the resolution. I have a first for option two with this vendor. Do we have a second? I'll second. Do we have a second? Roll call. Disaster? Yeah. Brown? Yes. Ms. Burkus? Yes. Mr. Banks? Yes. So option two will be moving forward with this particular trash contract. Now, moving on to the consent agenda. All items listed with an asterisk are considered routine by council and will be enacted by one motion. Should a council member wish to discuss a consent agenda item separately, that item can be removed from the consent agenda and considered in its normal sequence. Before we begin, does, does anyone have any questions about any from our council members? Do you have any questions about anything on the consent agenda? No questions. No questions? So we'll take. So that's what I'm saying. That's what I say. No, do you is it yes or no? Do you have questions or no, no questions, but I do have questions. So that means you have that means you want to move something separately. Yes. Which one is, well, do you need to have questions answered by that first? No. Okay. Which one do you want to remove? All three? Yes. Is there a second to that motion to remove those? Is there a second to Do we need a second pulling something from the consent agenda? We've never done that before. Yes. That's the way it should be. Your amendment is again a further matter. Okay. Remove those. I'm going to. Have a second so we'll vote on 71 72 73 78 the approval of the bill list department head reports and <coughs> one motion so for resolutions 2024 71 72 73 78 the approval of the bill list and the department and the proof of department head reports do I have a motion I have a first. Do we have a second? We have a second. Roll call. Disaster? Yes. Mr. Brown? Yes. Mr. Burkett? Yes. Mr. Banks? Yes. All right. Those resolutions 71, 72, 73, 78, approve the bill list and department head reports have passed. Now we're going to vote on each one of these individuals separately. Resolution 2024-75, approving urban renewal entities for my place at Westbury Focus Apartments, Mount Holly, 12 Urban, Re urban Renewal LLC, Block 12.05, Lots 1-12. We have a motion. No motion? No motion? We have a first. A second. We have a second. Roll call. Disaster? No. Mr. Brown? Yes. Ms. Burkus? The same. Mr. Banks? Yes. All right. Passes. Thank you. Passes out. So we have resolution number 20. So that resolution does pass. Resolution 2024. That's seven six. The resolution approving same urban renewal entities for my place at West Bank Focus Apartments, Mount Holly, two thirty two, Urban Renewal LLC, Block forty one dot zero nine, Lots one hundred five, one hundred five point zero one, one hundred five point two, and.
in Block 41.12, Lot 1. Can we get a motion? I'll move. We got a first. Can we get a second? I'll second. Roll call. Ms. Asper? No. Mr. Brown? Yes. Ms. Burgess? Abstain. Mr. May? Yes. All right, 2024-76, pass, pass. We have a resolution number 2024-77, resolution approving urban renewal entities for my place at West Rain Coast Apartments, Mount Holly. This is 96 Urban Renewal LLC, block 12.02, lots two, three, four, and five. Can we get a first? Okay. We have a first. Second. We have a second. Roll call. Ms. Astor? No. Mr. Brown? Yes. Ms. Fergus? Abstain. Mr. Banks? Yes. Okay. Well, resolution 2024-77 has passed. That's that's the it. That's uh, the end of the dissent agenda. Uh, moving on to conclusion. Josh, any matters reported by the township manager? Nothing further. Thank you. Tom from our solicitor. Thank you, sir. Nothing. Thank you. Matters presented by council. Sergeant Eunice Um, Just a couple quick things. I know it's getting late. Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming in. Thank everybody who spoke. I know it's um, it's tough, um, and it's a, there was a lot, and there's a lot of questions. So I appreciate everybody coming out. I appreciate everybody speaking. It's it's important for us to hear from all of you. Um, wanted to thank everybody involved with planning, volunteering, and then everybody attending the Independence Day celebration. I was not able to attend. I was out of town, but I heard it was amazing. Uh, I got lots of um, uh, text messages from afar with videos and photos and all stuff. I had a major sense of FOMO, so thank you for everybody. I know that that is very difficult um, to put together, so thank you for everybody involved. Um, and uh, I, I hear you in regard, all of you, in regards to the lack of potential, of, like the lack of follow-up to some of the things that are raised on a monthly basis. Um, I just wanna, you know, sort of um, recommit to, um, you know, the reason that I threw my hat in the ring for this in the first place, which is trans transparency communication and I know I personally can only speak for myself that I need to do a better job of that um, and then also hold those around me accountable as well so I just I, I want you to know I hear you um, and want to do a better job of sort of tracking all the things that we're discussing and making sure that we're circling back and giving everybody answers whether they're good answers bad answers or whatever I don't know um, it's, an it's an answer so I, I just want to commit to that to everybody because I hear you um, and that's it and again thanks for coming up thank you Ms. Burke disaster a lot of notes, and I'm going to talk loud. Um, okay, so thank you all for coming. Um, thank you for those who came and didn't realize we have a two-hour meeting. Um, and first, I just want to uh, make a quick comment about the recent assassination attempt of President Trump. Um, regardless of our political ideologies and affiliations, let's remember to just be kind and compassionate and civil. Um, we're all members of the same community. And um, you know, this is a, a terrible, terrible tragedy. Um, this Saturday, I attended the Emilio Carranza Memorial on the July 13th. They have the ceremony every year, the second Saturday in July, and the Mount Holly American Legion always attends. It's a lovely ceremony. There are traditional dancers from Mexico. The Mexican consulate uh, in Philadelphia always comes. Uh, he's a lovely man, and it's a, a rich part of our, our history that um, I encourage people to learn more about. And we're coming up, I think, in two years on the 100th anniversary. Um, I'm just going to shoot whatever things that they wrote. Um, I wholeheartedly preser support preserving green spaces. Just throwing it out there. Um, Ms. Uh, Maureen Taylor Ford, in regards to the Pemberton meeting, um, definitely go to the MUA meeting
Oh, also, I noticed uh, an individual here that had submitted an application to the Environmental Committee. Um, I'm not going to make a motion right now, but I think it would be really great work coming into July. We only have four people on the Environmental Committee, and we've been sitting on two applications. So I'm going to make it my priority to ask to have that put on the agenda for next month so we could have a full, complete Environmental Committee. Yeah, you're yeah, doing it? Awesome. I just I saw him, and I'm like, we got to get it going. Okay. <laughs> Because yeah. we still have four people. And I, I, I know that I remember his, his, his face. Um, so, um, let's see. Um, I think those are everything. It was just other, like, continuing notes for the residents. But thank you for coming. And once again, I, you know, I never walk in here with a 100% clear idea of how I'm going to vote. Um, I may think I know how I'm going to vote, but when I hear from people and, and I get a better perspective and understanding, live in different neighborhoods, different types of houses, different living situations, all have different needs. Mm -hmm. And the more I hear, the more I can gather and then assess what I think is best, not for me, but, but for the town. So when I say your voice matters, it's showing up and speaking matters. It really does because you know, they always say if you're upset about something, it's going to be passing in the house, you know, call your congressman. It really does matter. And, um, you know, I'm never 100% set for the time I'm going to vote on, on anything. So please come. Please keep chattering on Facebook um, because I gleaned so much information about how everyone in the public felt about this whole trash proposal, and that is how I based my decision based on what I've heard from everyone and what I gathered to be the best decision for, for the majority of the people. So, um, and I think that's it. And thank you so much, and have a great day. Cool. Thank you. Senior day is at coming here July 27. Uh, I think it's from two to five, and everybody, all seniors are welcome. Everything is free. Uh, like to see everybody here and come and help yourself. Okay. We also have a band. And Thank you. Did anyone who's in here, Mr. Brown, the 27th of July, which is in two weeks from now, um, I think we have another event that day to spell that one, but there will be the senior picnic. Uh, we have to postpone it due to extreme heat. Hopefully we catch a break this time with the, with the heat um, and subsiding a little bit, hopefully now in the 27th. So that's what he was referring to from two to what, six? Five. Two to six in the Veterans Park. Um, but two to five. Two to five? Yeah. All right, two to five. All right. So uh, now it's my turn. Um, I thank everybody for coming out. Uh, like I said, anytime we have issues like this, you know, my best interest is to make sure we have the impact to the residents as minimal. Um, this is never going to be an easy topic. There's no perfect solution when it comes to making big decisions like this. But as good governments, in, in good governance, we want to make sure that we're doing right by the people. Sometimes change, sometimes change is hard, but obviously with the vote, and we actually had a chance to actually first, first time to talk about this particular issue, instead of hearing things or hearsay, we had a chance to answer all our questions for the most part. So um, that was good. Um, I would encourage us more to reach out to us more before this. I know we had this trash, this trash thing for at least a month, month, a month or so. Um, we could have had some side conversations about it, what we thought about it before, instead of waiting until this meeting, but we wanted to make sure we address everybody and everybody's concerns before it gets out of, gets out of hand with misinformation. Um, but we did come to a conclusion, a resolution now, it's going over to West Hampton to let them know what our decision is. Um, other than that, like I said, for us, we'd like to thank the firehouse for allowing us to use this building. This is not a Mount Holly Township building. This is the fire commission, and we appreciate them for opening up their doors to us. It's very nice and cool in here based on much better than our previous building. So nobody is passed, passing out due to heat exhaustion. Uh, but also too, with Senator Tiber was saying, we have grants. We do have more grants that we just got in for the, to finish the, our actual courthouse. So 
that's hopefully we'll hopefully get something that something done later this year to make sure we can open that particular building as well. Um, and, and not to the expense of the taxpayers as well. So hopefully that's coming soon too as well because I think all our grants are in and all our applications are done. Now we're just waiting for um, you know to go out to bid for construction and things like that. So I think that's where we are with that. Uh, but other than that, um, I'll have to say thank you guys for coming out for July 4th. We had a great time. Um, the planners for that, they do, they've been doing it for years. They've done a great job. Mr. Tapako done a great job with putting everything together. Uh, uh, um, you know, he's done a great job and it was a great event. Um, it was good to be there and see everybody. And we pulled from this entire, I know we kind of occupied July 3rd as our date. And I think we that's our date. So moving forward, we're always gonna do fireworks on July 3rd. Um, and from the last probably what seven, eight years, I think we've been one of the biggest draws in South Jersey, correct? That is correct. Okay, and uh, we like to continue that. It's one of the one of the best events of the year and we celebrate American freedom and, and just for everyone to come together. <coughs> so great job. And for that, we look forward to seeing you guys at the senior picnic. Um, and if you have any questions, I'll be available. I know it's late, but we got, hopefully you guys have no additional questions, but if you do, I'll be around if you have any additional questions for myself or anyone in council, um, I'll be here. But we'd like to thank you guys, and we'll see you guys next month in August. Sherry, what's the date off here? 12th. August 12th. Mm -hmm. We'll see everybody on August 12th. So thank you guys, have a good night. Oh, we need a motion. I know. I heard it. I heard it. Right. You gotta say goodbye. You know. All in favor? Aye. Aye.